guys, I'm here with my friend Jennifer who is Inspired Mom 824 here on YouTube. You might recognize her from some of my past videos. We mentioned that we were going to try to film once a month together and we kind of have been slacking a little bit. But we're here today and we're going to do it and we're going to do the, what is it, Would You Rather Beauty Edition tag. Question number one, would you rather lose all your mascaras, eyeliners, lipsticks, and lip glosses or lose all of your palettes and eyeshadows? I would rather lose all of my palettes and eyeshadows. Um, I am more of an eye girl, but I think that like I could make do with mascara, eyeliner, mm -hmm. have a little color on the lips, I agree. and yeah, I would just I would rather have all of those. Me too. I'd probably get rid of eyeshadows and palettes just because like I feel like if I'm in a hurry, I need to at least curl my lashes and put mascara on. Without mascara, like even with a lot of eyeshadow, I just feel naked anyway. So yeah, what's the point? Eyelashes are like the thing, like yeah, they give you the, the pop, you need touch. to have it. Definitely, I agree. Numero dos, uh, would you rather chop off all your hair or never be able to cut it again? I guess it depends on what they mean by chop off, because if you guys remember, my hair was like down to my butt and I did recently just chop it off. So if this is the length that would be considered chopping it off, then I would chop it off, obviously. <laughs> but if they mean like really short... I don't know if I could pull that off, but at the same time, having really long hair is kind of a hassle and then you have to buy more shampoo, so I would go ahead and cut it off. I guess I feel like I would rather never be able to cut it again because, like, what if you chop off your hair and then it has to stay short forever? Then don't know. you don't get to do anything. I would rather be able to never, you know, be able to cut it, and then I could do other things with it. I could style it or put it, in put it up, yeah, yeah, put it in a bun, a ponytail, a braid. I don't know. But then again, like, I don't look good with short hair, so <laughs> I like having long hair anyways. Would you rather have a coral cheek or a pink cheek? Pink. As I if. Think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would originally say coral because I'm really into coral, like, blushes and that's what I would go for but lately I've been wearing a lot of pink and I feel like pink just really kind of brings like life to your face. I don't so you're wearing pink today? It is but I think with my skin tone it kind of becomes coral anyway. I don't so know. I was going to say I wonder what the like if I've ever even noticed if it was a coral. I don't know. Or not. I don't know. I think for me pink is. I'm going to go with pink too. Mm -hmm. If you had a thousand dollars to spend would you rather buy clothes or makeup? I would say like right now I'd rather buy clothes just because I have way more makeup than I probably will ever need in my whole entire life and a lot of my clothes in my closet don't really fit me all that great so I'd want to go shopping for clothes. I think that I would probably choose clothes and this is where the, like the weird quirky part of me is I'm mm -hmm. like well I'm currently not at the weight I want to be so I don't want to waste yeah. money on clothes you know, and then I go down like this rabbit trail of thoughts. But I think that for where I'm at in my life, a thousand dollars, if that could get me like someone to help me find really well fitted clothes for my mm -hmm. size, mm -hmm. then I would like that because with all the makeup that I could possibly have, yeah. if I if I'm like frumpy looking, then it doesn't really do anything. So I think that I would also um, choose clothes. So, would you rather apply lipstick as eyeliner or eyeliner as lipstick? This one's hard that, well, and kind of weird. Yeah, and I think, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, there's a lot of ways around this because, mm -hmm. like, what color lipstick, what color eyeliner, and eyeliner, mm -hmm. I mean, well, see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't line my lips with, like, black, black or brown, but yeah. maybe, like, teal. Teal and purple are popular eyeliner colors, eyeliner colors and so, um... Yeah. You know, I think I would do eyeliner as lipstick because there's not many lipsticks that I would use as liner, I don't think. That's true. Like, a lot of my lipsticks are more, like, pinks or plums and stuff like that, and I don't think I'd want that as eyeliner. So, I would, I'd probably go with eyeliner as lipstick as well, even though I'm... I don't know. I don't even know if there's a right answer for this. Number six, would you rather shop at MAC or Sephora? I have actually, like, weaned myself off of MAC. Like, I think in the beginning I was just like, oh, MAC, 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 and then all the new MAC collections, and I haven't purchased anything from MAC in a few years, actually, and I haven't used anything from MAC in a while either, so I would definitely go with Sephora. I think it just opens up your, your range of brands mm -hmm. and products, too, so Sephora for sure. Yeah, and I agree. Um... 
I buy cruelty free beauty products, so mm -hmm. Mac is not um, an, option. <laughs> an option for me anymore. Um, and Sephora has a lot of different brands, mm -hmm. and I can choose within those brands which ones are cruelty free that mm -hmm. I could use. And the same, I haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't even been drawn to Mac products. I think. I don't know. I think there is like a novelty when you first start getting into makeup that MAC has, yeah. but to be honest with you, I have found products that are better quality. And yeah, so I would choose Sephora. Number seven, would you rather only use one eyeshadow color or one lip color for the rest of your life? Even though I normally wear a lot of like neutral eyeshadows, I think I would rather wear one lip color for the rest of my life just because on a typical day I barely even wear like anything on my lips except like lip balm so I'm totally good with that and then I'd rather have like a bunch of different eyeshadows to play with gosh I'm like that one's hard because I feel like I go towards a lot of the same eyeshadow colors right. which is more like pinks and purples <clears throat> and I do the same with my lips I like a lot of similar shades. similar yeah. shades um this is a serious life question because if it ever <laughs> happens I don't want to be left without any thought process um I do choose a lot of lip colors in the same pinkish family and um, the eyes, I can just, yeah, I can see myself going a little bit more crazy with the eyes. Number eight, would you rather wear winter clothes in the summer or summer clothes in the winter? Oh man, <laughs> that's a rough one. If we were in California, I think that I might be able to wear winter clothes in the summer, but here there's no way. Mm -hmm. Um, so, ooh, summer colds in the winter. It was really cold this winter. It I was. think that I would have, like, I probably like, would have gotten frostbite. Yeah, if, if they're saying only summer clothes, can you not wear, like, a jacket then, I'm assuming? Like, you can't wear, like... Well, I, yeah, I wore jackets in the summer because it would get kind of chilly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to revert to my Southern California girliness, and I would rather wear, uh, winter clothes in the summer. <laughs> And I'm going to go with summer clothes in the winter because I get really hot easily and I think I would just like suffocate and die if I were to wear sweaters in the summer. <laughs> Can I layer my summer clothes? Can I like put like... You could! Pink on yeah, so pink I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say summer clothes in the winters. And this is strictly on Southern California weather. Summer clothes in the winter because they're pretty interchangeable and you can layer. So she switched. She hmm? changed her mind. But number nine, would you rather have dark nails or bright nails all year round? I think I'm going to go for the dark nails. I always look forward to like the fall and winter months when I can pull out like the dark like vampy colors because I really enjoy them even though I'm wearing like semi-bright color right now. Like they're fun too, but I think if I only had to choose one, I would definitely go with the darker nails. I think they're more flattering. Mm -hmm. When they say bright nails, does it mean like... like like a bright color like that probably or like just I don't know I'm thinking anything like so not like neon yeah. I really I like to wear pinks so I would, I would call that a bright color okay I would I would wear bright colors I rarely wear dark colors because my nails chip so easily mm -hmm. like I'm That's so rough true. on my nails that I paint them and the next day it's chipped yeah so I definitely see it more with with the darker polish but I'm still gonna stick with dark nails so those are the first half of the questions, and we're going to answer the second half of the questions on Jennifer's channel, so I'll post her link down below. Also, if you guys have any other requests of videos that you'd like to see us do together, leave them down below, like tag videos or just just anything, really. We're up for anything. We could use the help coming up with ideas. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Focus. Thousand dollars oh! <laughs> to spend, would you... Sorry, Facebook is like, oh, oh, it's I thought it was my stomach. <laughs> Your stomach has now... <laughs> I heard a poop and I was like, was that my stomach? And I, I said, I'm going to check out the finale. So those are the first half of the question that we're going to answer. Hanson!